I'm going to show you now how we can do a PowerPoint screen recording and a slideshow recording using the recording features in PowerPoint. Now this obviously means you have to have the latest version of PowerPoint which is running on Office 365. If you don't have that, speak to your IT administrator or make sure you're using your own personal copy of Microsoft Office 365 if you have one. So let's have a look and see what we've got. In my PowerPoint tabs here at the top here, you can see I'm going to go to the tab that says recording. So I click on recording and here are all the options that I have. I have record slideshow, screenshot, screen recording, video, audio, and then my save options, save as show or export to video. Record slideshow is the one I'm going to show you first. Screen recording is awesome. I'm going to show that to you second, and then I'll show you what options you have in terms of saving. The other ones are video and audio. Video is if you want to insert a video clip from uh, your computer or from a, a YouTube video that you might have downloaded. Audio is really nice if you just want to narrate a particular slide and just have your voice narrating on the slide. So I'm going to show you now, I'm going to create a little interactive video on uh, Microsoft PowerPoint and you can see what it actually looks like. So what you see here is what you will notice when you start your slideshow recording. This has got pretty much everything that you would need and I'm going to highlight a few of the areas that you will be using the most. On the top left you can see we have record, the stop button and a replay button. Just to the right of that we have notes and just to the right of that we have a few other options as well such as clear a particular slide or recording or clear all slides. We then have some settings next to that. At the bottom of our slide panel here you can see we have an eraser, a pen tool, a highlighter tool and then of, of course our various colors. You can use the pens or the highlighters to draw and annotate, to write things down or make notes around things. You can use the highlighter tool to highlight specific words or notes or phrases in any color that you like. To the right of that you can see we have the microphone, a video camera icon and another user face icon. What we can do with all of those is you can decide if you would like your microphone on or off, if you'd like your camera on or off, or if you'd like to not see your face while you're doing the recording. So you've started your recording and up pops your first slide and you hit the record button first. So you hit record, it does a bit of a countdown, three, two, one, kablooey, and there you start. Now, this is where you start doing all the work on your slide and you can explain stuff, you can engage with your class, you can tell them stuff. You say, okay, we're going to learn about this thing, which makes no sense. And then you go to the next slide and you click, you're on the next slide. I'm going to use my tools down here. So if you want to make something stand out, like, hey guys, this is a, a super duper slide. Look at that. That's amazing. Super duper slide. And it's very important to realize that if I take my highlighter, I can just highlight words. There we go. Oh, it's so beautiful. There you go. And you can see, so what I'm doing is I'm recording myself talking about each slide, one slide at a time. At any point, I can pause. I'm not paused, but that's paused. I could keep recording. I could stop and then of course I can replay that slide. If I want to replay the slide, I hit the replay button and it'll then go through and replay that for me. There it is. There we go. So that's actually pretty good. So that was all about using the record slideshow and all the features that are available in there. So just to sort of recap, okay, let me bring the screen up for you. Uh, don't forget, you've got record, stop and replay. You can have your notes if you have notes that you've typed out for them. Clear everything if you want to. Use your settings to select your camera and your microphone. Here's your pen tool. There is your highlighter tool. And I just noticed, which I probably should have mentioned before, you've got keyboard shortcuts for those. So control P will bring up your pen instantly and control I will bring up your highlighter. You wonder why it's not Control H. I don't know. Anyway, there's all your colors, and here, switch on your mic on and off, switch your camera on and off, hide your face if you don't want to see it. 
Okay, but I wanted to show you what else we could do, which is the insert the screen recording. Very, very nice. If you want to record yourself doing something on the screen, pretty much like what I'm doing now, but I'm using software to do that because it's slightly more advanced, you can do screen recording in PowerPoint and it is beautiful. Watch this. I have got a blank slide here and I've got some information in a window behind PowerPoint that we're going to record. I want to demonstrate something, for example. So I'm going to click screen recording. Now, what happens is PowerPoint minimizes itself your cursor becomes a crosshair and you can go ahead and then select the area of the desktop that you would like to record which is what I've done now. You can choose to have your audio recorded which is narration and your pointer as well. You can choose to have them on or off. For the sake of the recording I'm going to switch it off because I'm going to be narrating while I'm doing this anyway. When you're ready click record and it tells you the Windows logo shift Q. That's how we stop recording. So here we are and I can go ahead, I can type stuff, I can do things, I can make things happen and uh, click on things or whatever. And this is now me recording everything I'm doing. When I'm done, the window key shift Q. I'm back in Microsoft PowerPoint and on my slide, check it out there is my screen recording. If you want to check, I'm going to resize it a little bit there and let's just have a look and see everything that I did beautifully recorded. So making screen recordings in PowerPoint is actually pretty cool and very easy. So there you go. Give that a try. Go to the recording tab, record slideshow, screen recording. Screenshots are very similar to what I've done with screen recording. Audio, music from your computer or just uh, narration, you narrating a slide. When you are done, save it as a show or export it as a video. Good luck and have fun. Wait, uh, before you have fun, you will have fun, but don't have fun yet, just wait. I forgot to tell you one thing, and it's actually very important and pretty cool. If you go to the insert option, this is in case, okay, you do not see the recording tab in PowerPoint. If you don't have the recording tab and it's not able to be put on and you are maybe working with a slightly earlier version of PowerPoint, don't panic. Go to insert and you'll see in the media group we have video, audio and screen recording. So that's insert go to the media group, video, audio, screen recording. And it's the same things that we had in our recording tab. The only difference with recording is that you have the added feature of recording your slides and annotating and drawing and highlighting, etc. But the video, audio and screen recording are all part of the standard version of, of uh, PowerPoint anyway. So now you can go have fun.